my life does what anything. Why are you taking pictures of me? I'm not even taking pictures of you. Why are you so paranoid? Because I don't like... No, no. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So um, the last video we looked at um, when the person escapes, if we keep our seatbelt connected, if we just go, go back to this position, I've got my seatbelt here, if I keep that connected and he doesn't break that uh, when he tries to escape, I can continue attacking the back, attacking submissions, it's really great. This, it works the same way anytime I have the collar. And um, if I grab the opposite collar or even, uh, you know, this is this acts like the seatbelt as well. So if he does the same sort of like such to escape again, puts his back down, to escape here. Look, it's the same thing. If I had my my leg here, I could do the same thing. Come on. So I've got those same controls and controlling both his shoulders. I'm like a backpack. Okay, this works really well when we um, when we do have um, the lapel going for the choke. That acts. That acts the same same way like a seatbelt as well. So, um, again, um, one of the things I like to do, okay, and whether whether I'm in this position, I've just got one collar, and maybe he does start to he does start to escape. Okay, we can escape here. I'd like to if I if I don't have this hand on the collar, um, and he start keeps on escaping. See how he can escape quite easily. But this is why it's important. If you do feel he's escaping, just grab that second collar. Okay, it's going to make it harder for him to do that. Okay, yeah. So now you can keep on trying to turn to escape. I'm like, I've like got that backpack again. I'm, I'm like that that seatbelt connection, but here. Yeah. So the same thing. If I want to stop him as well, I can change. I can just grab hold of his hand here. Okay, it makes it harder for him to do the same thing. Okay, so whether it's, whether I'm gripping his lapel or I grip this hand here. Now, one of the things I like about about this visit, like uh, from here, and even if I had a seatbelt here, and and he's a, a seat this position, so it's all interchangeable. I can grab this, control his hand, or grab here. I can change to this point um, anytime I want. So even if I wasn't going for the choke, anytime I get to here is really good. So what we're going to do now, instead of going to the back, a really good way that we can um, get the submission from here. Get that out of my stomach here. And what we're gonna do, notice to get the choke from here, I bring my shoulder behind his neck. Okay? So I don't I don't I don't want my head here, this isn't doing anything here. So I just gotta make sure that my shoulder slides here. Okay? So my shoulder's behind, and all I'm gonna do here is I'm doing this movement. My shoulder is connecting with my, my blade. So I want to use I want to use this blade again, okay? I'm bringing this towards my shoulder, squeezing like this. Otherwise, I can be pulling on the other, the other lapel to finish the choke there, or I can just control his other hand and he'll still generally get the submission from here. So, a great way um, when you do feel the person try to escape, well, I, can, I can go up and go straight for the, um, go for his back again. But when we get the opportunity to um, get a submission, why not go for the submission? It's really easy to um, choke from there. On the other side of this, I remember when I was in Brazil, um, I think it was like two th 2008, and um, there, was, there was a brown belt at the time who was trying to submit me, and um, the black belt master Vinny comes over and goes, and told him to do that to me, and he still couldn't submit me because I had a strong neck, and so I was laughing. Anyway, um, yeah, so it didn't work on me. So guys, just know, unchokeable. Just kidding, you can't choke me. <laughs> but um, let's, um, let's look at this again. Okay, do it a bit more of a different angle this time. It's probably the same angle, but yeah. Yeah, we'll go. Move the angle around. Okay, so. Do you want me to run the same way? This, 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 this time I'm just going to have the seatbelt. Yep, and he's going to escape that same way. Yep, this way. yep. So he escapes this way. Form, form. So I want to get onto my stomach here. Okay, and I'm just going to open up his collar, get the collar, 
And notice my shoulder, my right shoulder here. This is what I'm, I'm pushing my shoulder and I'm squeezing with the blade, just like this, okay? If at any point you feel, you feel like, um, we'll do it again on another angle, but if you feel like you can't get the choke, maybe it's too shallow with your grip or you haven't got the shoulder positioning right, we can always go back to the back, attacking the back again, okay? So this time we'll just do front on. So we'll go like this, okay? So this time I've got, I've gotten a nice grip here. He starts to escape from here. So, out. So you can see here, my shoulder's behind him. I squeeze, okay? If for some reason I can't, I start walking up. I can just come up to this position. I still keep my, my grips, okay? And now from here, I can always, boom, go to the back and start attacking from here. Or even better, I can just drop down here. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just take a second here. Bring my knee up. Just bring my elbow over my knee. Just squeezing from here is really strong. Or alternatively, lean back. <laughs> I just loosen the grip a little bit. Take the shoulder line. I can tack from here, bow and arrow. Triangle. Armbar. So we have um, all those attack setups again. Just a little bit of a review of that, but anytime we have that, something fails, we can chain our attacks. And that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole bunch of things we can do, but um, I don't want to go into, go into too much detail. I just want you to guys thinking of um, having a strong seatbelt and, um, and looking at how, um, not just the seatbelt, but having this um, cross lapel control is just like, is, is the same control as a seatbelt. And the same thing, if you lose your, your grip, person can escape. Or if you only have one grip on the collar, they can turn into you and be able to escape that position. Um, so, good times. Is it? Really good times. <laughs> <laughs>